Thank you very much. Now we have a change uh, compared to the program that you have uh, written. The next speaker is Maria Spitze, Spitzner from the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Germany, and she will talk about Zebrafish tumor models, novel tools for drug development. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I will uh, today explain you or uh, introduce you to our zebrafish models and how they can be useful to develop new drugs. So uh, one aspect in drug development is um, testing your new devices or um, substances in animal models to screen for toxicity effects, therapeutic e effects, or for targeting properties. Um, systems that are used until now include cell catcher, which is a very simple model and lacks a lot of uh, characteristics which are uh, needed for especially targeting testings. And the other approach which is used are mouse models, which are very expensive and also complicated in administration of drugs and uh, imaging. The zebrafish instead can overcome those problems the uh, crossing of zebrafish leads to a lot of um, cell X. Um, so zebrafish have a large clutch sizes and that um, can be used to uh, load a multi-well plate very efficiently. And uh, after loading the plate, the uh, administration of drugs is very easy. You just have to add your drug to the wells and therefore have a very good uh, control in concentration. After incubation of uh, your lab with the drug, the, um, there are a lot of imaging approaches which can be used. For example, one approach which is used at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology is um, a um, sorry, um, <laughs> it's a mold which uh, contains groups where the fish fall in directly, so that positioning is very easy. And then we have a software guided microscope which detects the zebra fish and the region of interest to image it. The models we have developed in our lab are very um, helpful for um, targeting approaches in uh, cancer. It uh, depends on the gulf 4 urea system, which is a very versatile system, um, can be split it into two parts. The gulf 4 part, um, or gulf 4 is a trans activator, which can be coupled to a specific, cell-specific promoter, and therefore be expressed only in a specific tissue. The second part um, contains the US promoter, which can be coupled to any gene of interest. We use the oncogene HRAS in our cases. And the tumors, uh, tumor models that we developed um, contain a um, myeloid leukemia model, a melanoma model, and uh, currently under development, a glioma model. Now, um, I'll give you a short example um, of how we can screen those fish. The melanoma model um, develops very early hyperpigmentation in larva until uh, the age of three or five already. In adults at the end, uh, we have tumor development of hyperpigmented melanomas or hypopigmented melanomas. When we now uh, want to screen our fish, we just cross a homozygous cutate fish with a heterozygous um, UAS ras fish and get half of the embryos positive uh, for the oncogene. And we just take the whole clutch and um, distribute it into a 48 well plate with about 10 to 15 embryos. Um, after adding uh, tracks and incubation, we now get uh, different phenotypes that allow us not only to test the drug efficiency, but also different effects of the drug. Additionally, we have a model for glioma which uh, appears with fluorescence and allows us also to analyze, uh, for example, particle targeting um, of these um, areas. And uh, yeah, with that, I want to 
was the presentation. Thank you for your attention and invite you to visit me at the, my post at 57. <laughs>